Guess what? We are gonna be decorating for Halloween. Look at all these pumpkins. Of course, I'm not gonna be using all of them, even though they do look cute. Let's do the quick list. I have all my pumpkins lined up and ready to decorate. Check. I have a spooky movie in the background. Check. Took out all my Halloween pillows. Check. Wearing my cute spooky little socks. Check. So a while back I went to Kirkland and ended up picking up these creepy little spiders. They are glitter spiders for wall decor and these were $29 with 99 cents. Now I'm thinking of having these on top of my TV. Let's see. Ooh, these are so creepy guys. Okay, so usually I have my garland on where the pumpkins are at, but this year I kind of want to hang it on top of the TV to give it that spooky look. I don't mind if the branches are touching the TV. To be honest, I feel like I'll just give it that spooky vibe. Okay, I ended up adding all the pumpkins on the floor and then I'm gonna see what pumpkins I'm gonna be using for my TV stand. Look how huge these spiders are. They are creepy. And I'm so terrified of spiders. I'm crazy, I guess. To decorate using a lot of clear thumbtacks. You guys should know that by now. And this is the little clear little core that I use, a little string. And this one I got it at Michael's. Okay, so this is how it looks with the spiders, guys. This is so creepy and spooky. Like, honestly, I'm actually kind of freaked out because these spiders are so big. I really like the garland up there. I usually have it, like I said, on the bottom, but this year I just wanted to switch it up. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have this one right here in the middle and add my favorite pumpkin. Which one is my favorite pumpkin? They're all my favorite pumpkins, but this one is actually one of the best. so this is how I have the TV stand I added my pumpkins and then I added some tea light candles I love how it's looking so now I'm gonna move on to my nightstand and my bed So I decided to add this vintage looking um, jack-o'-lantern that I've had for the longest. This is actually from Kohl's and I wish they came out with more stuff like this. I decided to add another candle. I just love candles. So this one is from the Bath and Body Works and this one is the pumpkin carving and it smells so good. Kind of like that sweet cinnamon pumpkin and then I added this cream colored little pumpkin. I feel like the nightstand looks very cute and spooky. Now on top of my headboard I have these baskets with leaves. This is how I decorated for fall. I'm gonna be removing that. I'm gonna be using these canvases. I actually painted these. So this one has a ghost. This one has a moon. My husband helped me paint this one actually. And I did this cauldron one. So I think this is very cool and different and unique. So can't wait to put these on top of my headboard. Now the place I ended up doing these canvases is actually from Mammal's Canvas. I am gonna be tagging him. So if you guys want to go see he does have some art video and his gallery 
Estate is in Montclair, California. Very cool. He does sip and paint and I just have a good time all the time and come out very happy with some paintings. Okay, so right here I decided to add my pumpkin house. I got this one last year at Home Goods and I love it to this day. I like how the stem is all curved and all the windows are nice and glowy. And right here I decided to add a pumpkin and it says boo. I love the font and it has a little moon with little stars. My little jack-o-lantern, I got this one at Target. And then my sign that says 31 October. And of course, I decided to add all these glittery bats from Kirkland's. And this is how I decided to decorate this year for Halloween in my bedroom. I think it came out very cute and spooky and I just love these three canvases on top of my headboard. And that is gonna be it with today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. With all that said, have a spooky day, guys.